Hello everyone, and <clears throat> my voice is still gone. Uh, welcome to the next thing. Uh, today we're going to be doing it uh, indoors in here because we have uh, something to talk about and I don't want to be getting distracted by various things. So I thought I'd sit in a room with loads of things to look at. Anyway, the thing that I want to talk to you about is the Olympic audition. You remember I keep mentioning it in every vlog since I first mentioned it, the Coca-Cola thingamajig. Uh, well, I heard back from them and I didn't get the role. Didn't get it. And seeing as how these are kind of a look at uh, sort of letting you into me and my life, I thought maybe I should tell you about it. Um, so, how does it feel to have not gotten it? Disappointing. I'm very, very disappointed, to tell the truth. I'm not very... that I'm dealing with it, because, you know, what can be done? But it's still kind of a knock, because this was a really big chance to... just to take advantage of, to put down on your CV that you'd been at the Olympics and that you'd work with Coca-Cola and things is amazing and I'm a bit annoyed that I won't get that chance to do that and things like that it's I don't know I don't really know how to verbalise it it's I'm disappointed that I didn't get it because I thought I'd tried really hard I thought I'd done the best that I could and it wasn't quite enough I think that's probably a big part of it it's not like it's not even it's not like the first time something like this has happened either because as some of you may or may not know um, I was a background extra in the second part of the uh, Deathly Hallows, the Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows part 2, I was a background extra and whilst filming uh, one of the assistant directors came up to me and said would you like to audition for the role of a uh, young Snape during the film, there's like a flashback section where um, like you have uh, Professor Snape and Lily and James Potter and everyone back when they were younger and I went to audition to play Snape as a young person because uh, trying to find a picture of me when I looked reasonable. I had like much, much longer hair and I looked like I could carry it off. So I went through it and I went to the audition and I didn't get it. And again, that was another big opportunity that's gone. And although I was still disappointed at that, I wasn't as disappointed because when I came out of the audition, I felt awful. I know that I did a really, really rubbish job. Um, I mean, obviously, <laughs> I didn't get it, otherwise you'd have seen me in the film and you'd know who I am by now. But, <sighs> yeah, that wasn't as disappointing as this. Because I felt like I'd done a brilliant job and it wasn't quite there. <sighs> and there's also, like, I said that I would take you guys there as well. Like, for... I don't know, it was going to kind of be like my plan over the summer. I was going to go to the Olympics and I was going to work and I was going to take you guys along and I was going to vlog and I was going to show you what was going on there if you weren't able to watch it on the telly or by some other means or if you weren't there to go yourself. I was going to take you along and so you could see what was happening through these and that's not going to happen. And even if it's a bit silly, I feel like I've let you guys down as well as myself because I, I needed this for kind of my employability because I don't get employed very often but also I said I'd take you guys and it's not worked out so sorry I guess um, but we're gonna work some other way around it I guess yeah still trying to stay kind of the camera slipping out of my hand hands this way Still trying to stay, like, good and positive about things, though. It seems to be, like, a recurring theme in these vlogs now. Stay positive, stay happy, do things right. But 
it's kind of true. When something like this happens, you kind of have to go, you know what, it was a knock, but pick up and carry on. Oh yes, one of the positives I'm getting out of this is at least they got back to me about me being unsuccessful because every other job that I've been to, no matter how many times I've chased them up, they've, they haven't got on back in contact to tell me I haven't been successful. So at least they did that. I'm glad that they did that. And I sent them an email, which they haven't gotten back to, asking if they had any kind of specific feedback. And, you know, I'm not expecting them to get back to me, but if you don't ask, you don't get. So, you know, here's hoping. And there's other things as well. Like now, yes, that was a big opportunity. And yes, it would have looked great on the CV. And yes, it would have been a great chance to do work and things like that and get sort of, it sounds a bit superficial, but get exposure for this channel. That would have been a great chance, but there's going to be other big chances. And there's going to be other chances to do all of those things. It's just, this wasn't the right time. So to sum up, I guess, very disappointed that I didn't get it, but positive that we're still going. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Thanks for watching and listening. I suppose I realised this wasn't the kind of standard vlog. Um, yeah, thanks. And see you in the next one. Don't know what it'll be or when it'll be. Hopefully it'll be a bit better and we can go out and have a lot of fun things. Hopefully my voice will be better as well. But, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys, and see you whenever.